In lesson one, you saw the single screw extruder. The screw rotates, but does not move back and forth. The extruder feeds plastic either directly to the die head or to an accumulator. There are two types of accumulators. The first we will show is the reciprocating screw accumulator. In this design, the screw can rotate and move back to allow plastic to accumulate ahead of the screw. Then, when there is enough plastic ahead of the screw, the screw stops rotating, and a hydraulic piston forces the screw forward. The plastic flows through the die head to make a parison. An important part of this design is the check ring or valve. At the end of the extruder screw, when the screw rotates, the check valve allows the plastic to go only in the forward direction past the tip of the screw. When the screw is pushed forward, the check valve closes to keep plastic from flowing back up the screw flights. The plastic flows through the die head, making a parison. Then the cycle repeats. As a general rule, we want the plastic to have the correct temperature when it leaves the extruder. We should not change its temperature in the die head. The die head has its own heater bands and temperature controls. They should be used to maintain the plastic temperature, not change it. The more common type of accumulator is one that is built into the die head, the die head accumulator. Here, the plastic enters the die head from the extruder. The plastic pressure forces the ram up. To minimize the heat history of plastic, it's best that the first plastic into the accumulator is also the first plastic out. This accumulator has a vertical slot at the side of the ram that continuously directs the plastic from the extruder into the base of the ram as the ram rises, so that the first plastic into the accumulator is the first plastic out. When enough melted plastic has been accumulated in the cylinder, the ram is forced down. The rate of parison extrusion is an important control in the blow molding process. Varying this rate during parison formation is called programming and it's covered in Lesson 7.